Hi YouTube, welcome back to the channel. Just wanted to drop a quick video today just covering a brand new stock. It's a UK company that I've now got within the portfolio. It's a company called Greencore and they specialise in food to go services. Um, they're in all the major UK stores. They do a mixture of sandwiches, soups and other condiments. This is the overview here and we can see they're quite a large company. 1.2 billion annual turnover. They're the largest fresh packed sandwich maker um, in the world and these are all the other key points that that the company produce. Obviously over the last year or so they've been deeply affected with Covid, lockdowns, people not being out. These, real, these guys really benefit from when people are on the move. They need to go and purchase their lunches or snacks whilst out and about and quite frankly over the last year that, that just hasn't been happening. So I've just recently introduced a new position to the portfolio which includes Greencore uh, and I'll go over more of the reasons why. Looking at the past earnings and, and future revenue growth, we can see that over the last few years, uh, so from 2018, that their revenue and earnings has been projecting generally on the, the upward swing, especially with the earnings. The revenue has been pretty flat from 2019 into 2020, but you can see that the earnings peaked out at 75 million right on the 27th, 27th of March 2020, which is exactly when the COVID pandemic started within the UK and resulted in full lockdowns. You can see the company's earnings have really swung down the way to a negative 34 million. But looking forward into 2022, 2023 and beyond, you can see that this looks as if analysts are predicting that there's going to be a swift recovery financially and that they're due to break even or be profitable between 2022 into 2023. So this is something that, that, that interests me. I'm quite bullish on the company and I think that if I hold this for the long term, especially up to 2023, this could be a, a, a good play. So looking at this from a chart perspective, up until um, about a month or so ago, they were, they were sitting at £1.70 and their, their stock had been recovering from from the lower 91 pence um, and it had been going on, on a good trajectory, but they came out with a bad earnings report. And this earnings report confirmed that they're still running at a loss. There was no positive earnings. Revenue was still down year on year. And this was due to the being in Q1 this year, which covers from January to March. The UK was still in full lockdown. People were still being encouraged to work from home. Nobody was really out within the supermarkets. There was nobody working from in the offices needing to go and collect lunches. And this is where this has come into play here and has really hampered this company. And you can see there, with the, with the recent reduction in stock price, which is brought down to, to £1.24. I've recently started a position round about here within the last few days, and from a technical perspective, I like the look of it because the RSI is down at an over oversold position. It's sitting at about 24 to 30, which looks good. And also the MACD indicator is starting to, to indicate that there might be a turnaround here, a change in momentum for money coming in as opposed to money going out. So this is one of the other reasons which are, I'm looking at this from a technical perspective. I started the position happy with that, but you know what, see if this starts to go down towards the, the £1 mark, I would look to, to increase my position because I think over the next five years, this will be going back up. Everybody will be back on the move, they'll be out and about again, and I, and I think that this is a great recovery play um, due to the, the COVID pandemic. So if you enjoy this video guys, please drop it a thumbs up. We'd love to see your comments in the comment section and subscribe to the channel. It would really help me out. Thank you.